Okay, this is a quick five minute overview over the simple SMS PHP script. Uh, the PHP script requires activation when you install it on your server and that's what you get when you buy, buy the credits. So if you buy 10, you can install up to 10 times uh, for 10, say, 10 different clients. You could view each activation as one client. So if you have a pizza shop, you would set them up with their own script with their own activation and that type of thing. Um, essentially this script is an interface to the Twilio.com API. Uh, Twilio.com provides uh, a developer platform for local phone numbers and text messaging s systems and that type of thing. Uh, they do not provide really any applications so you have to create your own and that's what this is. So Twilio provides local phone numbers for one dollar per month and uh, you pay as you go. Uh, your text message credits are only two cents uh, each, so incoming and outgoing text messages are only two cents. Two cents, and you, again, that's pay as you go. So if you put in twenty bucks into your account, it may take you a week or a month or two months or months to to go through all that. So uh, you don't get stuck with a large uh, monthly bill or commitment. The other great thing about Twilio and the way that we're using it um, with local phone numbers is that you. You're not competing for keywords for your text message list. If, you're, if you've seen short code services, um, short codes are really expensive. So instead of a dollar a month, you're, someone's paying thousands a month for that short code. So the only way to make it financially viable is to share the short code with other people, and therefore you're sharing keyword usage on that same short code. Well, since we're using our own phone number, uh, you can have all the keywords you want, or uh, basically a keyword is like a list and also you're not competing with anyone else so if you want to use the keyword pizza you can use it and there's no competition so um, you can set up your list and you would set up as many as you want here I've, I have three set up and here's the last one here is to set up a new one uh, there's help built into the system so if you click on any of the help icons you get more help um, we have three possibilities for replies these are the auto reply messages that go out when someone texts the keyword pizza to our phone number they will get a reply back in this format. So whatever you type in here is their reply. And there's three scenarios that apply to this. The first one is if they are a brand new subscriber, never been on your list before, this is the message they get. So this could be a great deal, uh, a buy one, get one free, or some, some sort of free item, uh, or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, but this is the message that they get the first time they subscribe. The second message is if they are already a subscriber and they're texting the keyword in this case pizza again to the same number they would get a different reply uh, so you might not want them to get that great deal again but you just want to say thanks for being on the list or something like that it's up to you third scenario is if someone is has unsubscribed from your list and now they're getting back on your list uh, you can send them this message so those are the three possibilities as far as messages you can also set up a stop list and a help list if you like. Uh, stop will just reply with whatever you want back to them. Um, just letting them know they are removed from your list. If you don't have this list, it's okay. It'll still take them off their list if they reply with, with stop. Okay, now for sending messages. Once you have people on your list, you can send a message to them. You would just click the send button for the list you want to send to. And type in your message and you can send it immediately or you can choose a date and time in the future you want that to go out. Uh, at a later time. So you can set up these in the future and, um, and those will go out at the at the scheduled time. And to view your scheduled messages, click on the scheduled link and those will be listed here. And you can of course, of course cancel those if you like. Uh, there are also some admin features. So if you're logged in as an admin, you would click on the admin link and you could see your settings that you have here. Uh, you can change the title, you can add HTML underneath the title at the top here. This is where you enter your Twilio account information. You can enable or disable the scheduling features, and then you can also edit the CSS for the page and save that. So if you're setting this up for a client, they would not know or see these admin features. Another thing to note about the script is that it's self-updating. Anytime I release an update or fix a bug or add a feature or anything like that, it will automatically update the script. Uh, but that happens once a day. If you need to update sooner than that, you can click the force update button. Again, this is not something a typical user would see, only if you're admin. So that covers the basic features of the simple SMS script. I hope you like it. Give it a, a try. Thanks.